Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. I'll show you today how li uh, how application lifecycle wo works in, in Streamlit. So let's um, jump um, to, to the application and uh, l let's see how it works in practice. So uh, uh, as a sample application, I'll be using um, Streamlit uh, drawable uh, canvas component uh, because I'm building some application logic which should allow to uh, uh, label different documents uh, and uh, uh, portions of, the, of those documents and so on. And while working with uh, this component, I noticed one uh, interesting behavior which I'll be uh, explaining today. And by the way, uh, the way how Streamlit works, uh, it works from top to bottom. And every time when user interacts with your application and submits a request to the server, uh, when request is sent to the server, then uh, application script is uh, re executed from top to bottom. This is different uh, if you uh, look into other uh, web uh, frameworks uh, or uh, REST, uh, uh, REST uh, frameworks where typically you'll have a callback function which will be executed as an endpoint, for example, and it would not execute the entire script. Uh, in terms of Streamlit, um, it's different, as I said, uh, entire script is executed and um, I think it has its own benefits because it makes application flow simpler. And uh, yeah, for the data applications, it makes sense uh, because uh, you can uh, execute the flow uh, even when, uh, even execute application flow even when entire script is executed. At the same time, probably it's better for the memory maintenance because uh, uh, once the response is executed, you could uh, free the memory on the server side and use le uh, less memory on the server and so on. So let's uh, see how this example works. So I have uh, logic here uh, where I open the file uh, JSON file, I load this file, and this file contains uh, rectangle uh, information about uh, label uh, labels, rectangles, uh, coordinates, and so on. And then uh, those uh, rectangles are displayed on top of the picture, and the uh, user can draw additional rectangle and save it uh, to the uh, to the JSON file. So uh, here we get response from the canvas component, and uh, uh, we have a button. When button is pressed, then uh, we uh, overwrite previous file with the new content, uh, whatever, with the new labeling. And what happens now, uh, when we press submit button, this code is executed. And then uh, on the next run, uh, we will, uh, because the same script is executed again, uh, what will happen will uh, read this updated file uh, from disk and uh, load it to Streamlit. Uh, we'll open it and uh, we'll initialize um, uh, the canvas component and the canvas component will try to display the new content of the of uh, of this file because which was saved and the way it works uh, somehow there is some conflict and uh, uh, streamlit component just uh, is not able to uh, render properly at, at this uh, at this moment and then we need to click again on the component then it's, it's rationalizing and, and renders the content well. So uh, to work around or solve this issue, what we'll do, we'll, we'll uh, keep the information in the session state, in streaming session state, and we'll check if we are uh, reloading and we are uh, reading again this file within the same session and it was loaded before. So we will not apply this file and will not uh, try to uh, load it into the canvas, but we'll use whatever existing information in canvases. So let's first uh, see how it works uh, by default. So uh, let's say I'll select uh, this value 22, and uh, then I press submit. Okay, and then I just click anywhere on uh, the same canvas and you see I was trying to draw a new rectangle but the canvas refreshed and I lost this um, the new box that I was trying to draw. Uh, right, so now if I uh, reload it, I'll see that uh, two rectang uh, three rectangles uh, exist as, as expected. So the, the one that I was trying to draw, of course it, it's gone because the uh, component just refreshed. Okay, to, to work around this, um, okay, I can delete 
this block and I uncomment this block. And what we got here, uh, we're, we're checking if um, our keyword safe state is inside string session state. Uh, if not, this means it's a new browser tab we are opening, new session. Then we read the file from the di from disk and um, we update uh, keyword in a session state uh, with um, just with this uh, file information. And uh, on the other hand, if we find the keyword inside the session state, uh, then we go here. This means it's an old session. And instead of reading file from disk, we, we get data from the session state. Right. And then the rest uh, logic is the same. We display whatever labels are found in this file uh, on top of canvas. So let's see how it works now. We uh, rerun the application. And now I, I'll draw a uh, new rectangle over here, right? So now we have four rectangles. I press uh, submit. Data is saved uh, for rectangles, and then I, I'll draw uh, one more uh, rectangle. So there will be five, five rectangles, five labels, and this time it works fine. You see, there was no refresh. I was <clears throat> able to draw it, and uh, if I submit, uh, it changes to to disk and. I'll refresh uh, to get the new session. Uh, all, all five uh, labels are loaded correctly. So this this means now it works fine. And if I go to application, uh, clean the lock, and uh, let's say I refresh it. So we'll see it's a new session, and then there are a few more requests are coming. Uh, but uh, obviously, because we already have our keywords in a session state, then uh, we are using data from the same session. And what's interesting is that uh, you should keep in mind uh, Streamlit session is not per uh, browser, it's per tab. So if I go open in the same browser, I open another tab, then uh, it will be reported as a new session again. Uh, which uh, makes sense because it's a new browser tab. Because so some frameworks, uh, server-side frameworks, they uh, don't uh, recognize uh, another browser tab uh, as a new session. You may get the same session uh, for different tabs if tabs are not isolated, for example. Yeah, okay, so this was a quick video to uh, give you a sense how uh, session state work, works in Streamlit and how you can uh, solve your session state some uh, strange issues uh, that you may encounter due uh, to the fact how related to the fact how streamlit um, application flow works uh, because every time script will be executed and maybe part of the uh, logic of your script you don't want to re execute within the same session then you can use streamlit uh, session store the keyword there and based on the value that is assigned to the keyword you can decide to execute the logic or not so thanks for watching and see you next time bye